Hello to all students, I am Professor Masood Fuzal. I hope you are doing fine. Today we are going to discuss structure and function of uh, Eurocordates. Eurocordates are uh, animals which belong to phylum Chordata and Eurocordata is subphylum of phylum Chordata. As we know that phylum Chordata contain uh, such animals which have four important characteristics like having notochord, dorsal hollow central nervous system, uh, gill pouches and post anal tails which we have di already discussed in previous lecture so first of all we are going to look at the meaning of eurocordata euro mean tail and chordates mean cord these animals are also known as tunicates acidians and sea squirts they are found in sea water at the ocean bed where they are spend their life by attaching to the substratum uh, with the help of specialized structures known as stolon so let's look at the characteristics of these animals. First of all, uh, these animals, uh, as you can see in this diagram, these animals are sessile. Sessile means they are non-motile. They spend their whole life at one place and they attach with the sub substratum with the help of a root-like structure which are known as talon. On the upper side, there is a sac-like body which is uh, made up of uh, a specialized epidermal tissue which is known as tunicate, tunic and that is why these animals are also known as tunic so first of all they are sessile second of they are they have uh, sac like body and third number they have tunic body wall that is why we call them tunicates uh, the most important and uh, imp uh, important feature of these animals that they have uh, two openings on the anterior side of the body which are known as siphons the first siphon is known as oral siphon and also known as incurrent siphon through which water enters there in their body and one is uh, known as atrial siphon and also known as excurrent siphon through which uh, water leaves the body from these animals due to presence of these two openings uh, these uh, are specialized characteristics uh, which uh, only found in these animals these animals also have hydrostatic skeleton uh, because uh, most of the body is filled with water coming inside the body and leaving from the body so now let's look at the different uh, uh, systems present in eurocordate so first of all we are going to discuss uh, nervous system as you can see this is uh, incurrent siphon which is known as oral siphon and this is the uh, excurrent siphon or known as atrial siphon which is anterior side of the body and just uh, between these two siphon there is a nervous system which is known as nerve ganglion in the form of a nerve plexus which acts as a brain and coordinates all the movements of the body uh, from top to the bottom the second major system present in eurocordates is digestive system as you can see there is, is an oral siphon oral siphon is an opening through which water enter their body water uh, leads this uh, op siphon leads into mouth and mouth leads into a sac like uh, pharynx as you can see in the blue uh, diagram uh, this uh, uh, pharynx uh, uh, occupy most of the body of the animal and uh, this uh, pharynx contains small slits on the surface of the pharynx these slits are known as stigma or stigmata uh, which have uh, uh, very fine openings through which waters leaves the pharynx so water enters inside the oral siphon which leads into pharynx pharynx has slits through which water leaves the pharynx and comes over here which is an opening which is known as atrium and from atrium this water moves outside the body through atrial siphon or excrement siphon the food particles present inside the water like small bacteria small crustacean detrital matter are trapped inside these stigmata and right here there is a small structure uh, uh, which is known as uh, endostyle which secrete mucus this mucus uh, uh, sticks and collects the food particles and form a string of uh, food particle which is which then uh, is transferred to the digestive tract which opens uh, to the posterior portion of the body right here you can see the stomach of the animal uh, where uh, certain enzymes separate the food particles from the uh, mucus string 
from here uh, some enzymes are secreted and food is digested in the uh, extracellular digestion and some food is digested in the intracellular digestion after digestion the stomach leads into an intestine which is as you can see in the blue color which opens into anus anus opens into atrium undigested food is transferred to atrium and from here with the help of water undigested material is removed from the body so this is very uh, simple uh, digestive system present in these animals these animals do not have respiratory system uh, proper respiratory system uh, gaseous exchange takes place through general body surface if uh, we look at excretory system they do not have proper excretory system also they have they produce ammonia which is uh, subsequently excreted from the body with the help of lot of water if we look at the uh, uh, circulatory system uh, on the posterior side of the body and uh, there is a heart which is uh, present on the posterior side of the body which has two uh, blood vessel one is towards the ventral side and other is towards the dorsal side when blood pumps the blood is moved towards uh, ventral and dorsal side of the body when the again um, heart contracts uh, blood come back into the heart again from blood vessels uh, in this way water uh, sorry blood moves in and out of the heart at the same time but the actual mechanism is under a study if we look at the uh, reproductive system of these animals these animals are known as monoecious because they do they have uh, both gametes male and female gametes in the same organism gonads are located just uh, uh, below the digestive system and just dorsal to the uh, heart uh, male gonads are testes and female gonads are ovary which produce gametes with the help of meiosis and gametes are produced are transferred to the genital duct which opens into the atrium and gametes are shed into water either they are monoecious but the usually principle is cross fertilization and by cross fertilization uh, egg and sperms are released in water where fertilization takes place in water and a larva is produced but this larva does not has a feeding state but it instead undergoes a metamorphosis and during metamorphosis it produces notochord dorsal hollow nervous system and other characters which are present in the phylum chordata after metamorphosis this uh, uh, larva changes into an adult like small animal which attach uh, towards a substratum and spend and start its new life at some point uh, in the ocean bed so in this way this is the uh, reproductive system of these animals uh, i have uh, taken a cross section of this animal to show the details of the i have taken if we cut the animal from this section and shows you in the help of a diagram the outermost layer of this animal is made up of a epidermis which is known as tunic that is why these animals are called tunicates in the center there is a cavity which is known as atrium through which water circulates in the center there is a pharynx through which water enter through the mouth and uh, uh, around the pharynx there is a mucus sheath which is helps to uh, stick down the particles of food just uh, towards out towards the pharynx there are small openings slit like openings which are known as stigmas or stigmata uh, through which water leaves the pharynx on the ventral side of the pharynx there is a endostyle which produce mucus sheath and at the same time there is a ventral blood sinus which is connected to the circulatory system of the animals so water enters through the mouth into pharynx and from pharynx through stigmata enters into atrium and from atrium it leaves the body through atrial uh, siphon so in this way this uh, today we have tried to study the a uh, simple anatomy and physiology of urochordates i hope you have understood it if you do please like it subscribe it and share it with your friends and we'll see you in the next lecture bye